How y'all doing? It's Gary Reeves, the guy in the pink shirt. If I haven't had the pleasure of meeting you at a convention or in person yet, the very short version of me is I am the 2019 FA National Instructor of the Year. I am the Avidine National Training Provider. I have over 7,800 hours as an ATP. I'm also a double master CFI, double I, MEI, and I provide private training for clients in their airplane when they install an Avidine. Uh, worldwide, I train private clients from Alaska to Australia. This is my full-time job. This video covers both Avidine and Bendix King models, the IFD and the Aeronav series, the new Avidine Atlas, and the new Avidine Helios. There are a lot of popular opinions that I see shared on Facebook and in public forums about formatting USB drives before each use, and I'd like to cover some of those opinions and set the record straight. One of the most popular opinions I see posted on Facebook, and by the way, everybody who posts these opinions are probably really smart people, but let's set the facts straight. One of the most popular things I hear is, you must use the official Avidine USB key. That is false. Uh, another thing I see quite commonly on social media is that you never have to format your USB drive well, that is false. And another thing I hear is that you are required to format your USB key every time. And that is also false. So let's explore each one. I think the earliest one I've seen and the one I see repeatedly is you have to use the official Avidine USB key. It's the only thing that can possibly work in your Avidine. It comes from Avidine. If you lose it, you have to buy a new one. None of this is true. Avidine is very nice and they give you one for free with every unit. In fact, if you call tech support, they'll probably send you a new one. Um, but there's nothing special about it. It's a gift from Avidine or Bendix King. You do need to have a preferred size of 8 to 16 gigabytes. And people go, well, Gary, how do you know that? Well, because the one issued by the manufacturer is 8 gigs and that works perfectly well. And they're available anywhere. I buy them frequently from Amazon and Walmart. Another popular opinion I see, and it just keeps reoccurring, is people say you never have to format your USB key. That is totally false. And they back it up with anecdotal data. Well, I've had an Avidine for four years, and I've never done it. Therefore, it's not true. That's not true. You actually do have to format your USB key, at least occasionally. And how do you know you have to format it? Because when you don't format it, you get corrupted data from the Jeppesen Distribution Manager. And when you upload a database, you will eventually get something that looks like this, which then wipes out all the databases inside your Avidine IFD or your Bendix King Aeronav. Don't panic. You haven't damaged the unit. You have to call Jeppesen, have them resend the units, then you have to go format the USB drive, then you have to download it. Just because you've never done it doesn't mean you're not supposed to. And then we get the opposite swing, where you're required to format the USB key every time. And I've said things similar to this, and I hope I've never said this in particular thing. It's just strongly recommended. And everyone goes, well, recommended by who? Because I'm a software developer and I'm this and I'm that. The manufacturer. This comes straight from the manufacturer of the units. And it says, while it is not mandatory to format every time a USB drive is used on the IFD or the Bendix King Aeronav, it is highly recommended that the drive be formatted before use as it will minimize the probability of encountering issues during USB interactions with your IFD navigator. So what they recommend, and this is from the manufacturer of the units, the people who know them best, you should format it before you do any of the following. Updating Jeppesen databases. I do it every single time. It's not a legal requirement. You don't have to do it, but I never have corrupted databases and I never have to go back and redo things. Before you download any logs, before you download user setting checklist, etc. And listen, if you're not sure, it's just better to do it every time if you can. Not a requirement, but a strong suggestion. So how do you format the USB? Well, it has to be done on a Windows PC. 
I know there are people that are very smart, smarter than me with technical things that can do stuff on Mac. I, I'm telling you the manufacturer's recommendation is that it be done on a Windows PC and it has to be in FAT32. If you try and do this on a normal Mac, it will leave artifacts that make the USB drive not work well. So please just do it on a Windows PC, use FAT32 format, and let's watch me do it. So this is a screen recording of a Windows PC. I just click the start button. I find my file explorer. And then I'm gonna insert my Avidyne USB key and you'll see it pop up when I insert it. And I've happened to name mine Avidyne Gary. You can call yours anything you want. I just happen to name it Avidyne Gary. Now there's nothing on it, but I'm going to format it anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to select format. Make sure it is FAT32, and you notice I use an 8 gig drive. Then I'm going to just click Start. Warning, well, yes, that's fine. It's going to take just a second to do it because I have an older Windows PC uh, that I keep just for this purpose. Everything else I, of course, do on my Macs. So it'll take a second. Again, not a requirement, but I really strongly suggest you do this. Click OK, close that out. And then I want to make sure you eject it before you use it. So I'm just going to find it, right click, eject. Then I can remove it. Good to go. And then I can take it over to my Mac where my Jeppesen distribution manager is set in. And I can upload the databases from there. Or you can leave it in your Windows PC and update your databases using a uh, Windows computer. Now, occasionally we will see uh, an error. People will submit an error to Avidyne. And this is uh, kind of a rare error, but it says data, laid, uh, data load, sorry, not authorized. And that's a security alert. There is one of two Jeppesen security errors. Either number one, your IFT tail number has been incorrectly entered. So either it's not set up on the Avidyne, and that's in the configuration page in maintenance mode, or it's not set up correctly with Jeppesen. Or number two, somebody has cloned a USB drive and is trying to use a database designed for another airplane on a different airplane. Meaning if you have a flight school with eight airplanes, you can't buy one database and upload it on eight airplanes. That is a copy protection from Jeppesen. So if you have four airplanes, or let's say you have two airplanes, and you paid for a Jeppesen database for November 1, 2, 3, 4, and you've paid for a Jeppesen uh, database for a tail number November 5, 6, 7, 8, and you mix up those USB keys, it will lock up, and that is a security alert. Hope you have found this helpful and cleared up some of the confusion and common misconceptions. If you'd really like to get better at your Avidyne or Bendix King AeroNav, hey, go here, avidinetraining.com. I'll see you next time. I'm Gary, the guy in the pink shirt, Reeves. Y'all fly safe.